Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erica. Today's video is another Summerween collab with the Real Prince Club. She chose Zombie and I fell short because I honestly forgot that the collab was tomorrow. <laughs> so I am going to show you the zombie that I made three or four years ago. I'm going to say probably about three years ago. I made this zombie for my grandma for either Mother's Day or her birthday or Christmas. I can't remember. But I remember I made this zombie overnight and it was because I procrastinate. It's, it's what I do. It's me, okay? I procrastinate. There's no... <laughs> I don't know why I do. I just... I just procrastinate. It's just who I am. But anyways, um, I had a lot of inspiration with this doll, and I will go ahead and insert pictures for my inspiration, and if you already don't know what my inspiration was, it was The Walking Dead. I'm not a true diehard fan of The Walking Dead, but my grandma, she loves it. She lives and breathes Walking Dead. She can eat while watching The Walking Dead. She loves the Walking Dead, and I'm sure if she could, she would marry the Walking Dead. I'm not even exaggerating, okay? Like, this woman has a shrine, alright? She has like a lot of Walking Dead things. She's obsessed. So, I got inspiration from the first season, and I believe it was the first episode of The Walking Dead, and it was this little girl. I believe Rick killed her. I think that was his first zombie kill. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I'm not a diehard fan of The Walking Dead, like I said, but I made her this doll, and it was a Dollar Tree doll, of course, so it fits the scales of the other dolls that I have been using for this collab. So, um, like I said, I did not record me making this doll, because this doll was a long time ago, like three or four years ago, and... Basically, I just repainted the doll completely white because the little girl had pale skin and this doll is kind of a peachy color. I added, it was all acrylic paint and I believe I used a sponge brush for most of it, or at least for the skin part, I feel like I did. I even added some paint to her hair, which makes it feel really crunchy and like it's got hairspray in it, but it's not hairspray. It's probably just paint. So I did add paint to the face. I made her little teeth and if you noticed on these dolls her lips are like smack dab in the center. Well what I did was I painted over it with some red acrylic paint and I just like added on little bitty paints of white and I think even yellow too for the teeth and I did add some red paint to her legs, her chest, her hands and everything to give her a bloody look and like I said I added some to her hair too and it made it like crunchy like hairspray kind of crunchy and her outfit I actually hand sewed this it is not hemmed at all it is not perfect it was not meant to be perfect because she's a zombie so she doesn't care and I believe it was like her nightgown or something from the inspiration um but I made the outfit all by hand because it was before I had a sewing machine her shoes are her original shoes. They're not slippers like in the inspiration. And the little girl in the inspiration photo, she had a teddy bear. I did not make a teddy bear that night. And what I did was I recycled a little pom-pom dog that I made. And I just, I didn't glue it to her. I just put like a clear elastic around its neck and tied it to her arm. But that is basically all that I did. I'm sorry that this is not a DIY video. Sorry, it's just a talking video and you're looking at an old doll that I had done and you didn't get to see how I did it. But I just didn't see the need to make another zombie doll. Like, I had no inspiration for it, like, at all. And I'm so sorry. Okay? But, if you stay to the end, I do encourage you to go check out Lou's video, which is The Real Prince Club. I will leave it in the description box down below, possibly on the end screen too, if I can get it real fast. So, 
and I think little crafty kitty might be adding like a little video or something too. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!